Thanks for talking about the Brady Bunch, which gave us <laughs> pop culture expressions like Marsha, 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 and pork chops and applesauce. That's right. Well, today we're joined by four of the original cast members. Barry Williams, of course, Greg Brady. Christopher Knight played Peter. Mike Lookinland was Bobby. And Susan Olson, Cindy Brady. Good morning to Good all morning. of you. Good morning. And we, nice we should mention, you. thank you, that Maureen McCormick uh, wanted to be here, couldn't join us. So you guys grew up in front of our eyes, you know, and it was so much fun for us to watch you. Was it was it difficult at times going through puberty and growing up and, you know, on, on national TV? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's tougher now, though. I mean, there's just so much more coverage today than there was back then. I mean, there wasn't there wasn't a, a National Enquirer. Mm -hmm. There were teen magazines. I actually there wore were... a disguise once to go ice skating at a local skating rink. Wow. It, it, did, it didn't work. Really? <laughs> the really nice thing is we could cover each other because we're all going through this experience together and we could relate to that and we're protective of one another. So I think that made it easier for us. And we all went back to public school. Really? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This... Which I don't think any kids today that are on TV shows would, would dare do that. but. And go back to school and get teased for the episodes. <laughs> now, tell me this. Would you trade it? I mean, I, I, you know, there are a lot of folks, probably aren't a lot of people, frankly, in your position where the role was so iconic that I look at you now and I see that character and you're certainly not a kid anymore. You know, we've talked about that. Right. You know, would you trade it or is it one of those things where you wear it as a badge or how? Have you had to wrestle with it or? Very proud of the show. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't. Pleased to have been I, part of it. If I had kids, I wouldn't let them. I just think we got very lucky. You said we, you wouldn't? I wouldn't. I, I just think we got very lucky. I think that the, the worst thing that could happen is you have that much attention as a child. Mm. Because what it does to you later, if you don't have that attention, is kind of life altering. So it's really, it's really difficult, either with success or without it. Sure. So. But we're lucky in, in the sense that there's so much good feeling um, tied to the show. Uh -huh. yeah. So and, and for so long that we've never suffered um, uh, any time I interact with a fan, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost exclusively a positive, positive. experience. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you, like you guys are beloved, and, but I would think uh, you hear about some actors who have these iconic roles, and they say it, it, it suffocates them. It, it puts them in a box. And yet, from what everything I've seen, you guys have embraced being Brady. Generations of people grew up with the show. They don't make shows like that anymore. Thank mm -hmm. goodness we have networks that are devoted to classic TV so that people can still enjoy them like, like me TV. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's an honor. It's an honor, yeah. I think, to Nearly have been. 50 years and it hasn't been off the air. You know, so the fact is there's no running from it. I think we all spent a moment trying to run from it and realizing it was always going to be there. Lucky it's for me, I never really wanted to be an actor anyway. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I left the business, so I think that if I had continued to try to be an actress, it, it would have been more of a, a hassle mm -hmm. to me. But now, I mean, when I found out that our show is used with kids who were severely abused, mm. that psychiatrists used our show, and then it gave the kids hope. Um, beautiful. That, that made it really special for me. All right, we're gonna, this is, uh, we like to play games on this show. <laughs> so here we go, props. No, I'm just kidding, that's not what we do. Oh, nice. Hey now. Oh, here we go. Oh. All right. Oh. Ah. Props. Okay, okay, Al, you set it up here. All right. Who amongst you do you think hasn't changed since the Brady Bunch days? Where is he? Wait, wait, oh, put the picture oh, part. Oh, oh. Ah, look All at that. All your castmates say wow. you. you. Whoa. <laughs> well, I work at it harder than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, here we go. Who was most like? Oh, this is a good one. Who was most likely to pay ball in the house? Mm -hmm. uh, uh. I'm gonna go with. Jim. <laughs> I would call that a tie. That's a tie. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, who who was most likely to forget their lines? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what was that? Wait. I, are you saying Clearly everybody? That's you. Yeah. Saying okay. All, all, everybody. Even everybody. <laughs> hey, you know, before we go, I wanted, to, you know, a friend of our show was Florence yeah. Henderson, uh, sure. and we lost her in November. Uh, we uh, all lost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, tell us what she meant. She was a mentor. She was a friend. She was. Um, up here, we learned a lot about how to relate to people and, and, our, and our public, and she was a very gracious lady who loved to make people laugh. Mm. And a very, very good mother, and has four wonderful children mm. who have turned out to be great people. And so for everybody out there that felt like she was a mom, you know, people really are psychic. 
Mm. And you know, you were right. You were right to love her. She was a wonderful mom. She really was. Yeah. Guys, a wonderful their own family. If, if you if you wanted and if you needed an example of how to be a better person, mm -hmm. you could look to Florence Anderson. And hanging out with her was a joy. And you never wanted to disappoint her. Mm. Uh, no. right. You know, we played around a she lot, and she played yeah. back, and that was. For a mom figure, because she Just really like was. Mom. She well, wasn't like my mom, because <laughs> oh. she did still have that light of an inner child yeah. that she played with. Wow. Um, she it, she engaged with you on, but at a certain point, we had to get the work done. Wow. And if you went too far, she'd just look at you. Guys, thank you <laughs> so much. And we would be remiss if we didn't mention uh, Robert Greene, yes. and of course, yeah. the great yeah. Ann B. Davis. Oh, yes. Ann B. Davis. Such a treat to have you guys. All yeah. the best. Thank you. To thank you, you, so, thank you much. so much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.